Call us or visit CCB anytime and experience a true community bank. Cable Sports is brought to you by Robert Basil, Chevrolet Olds Buick Cadillac, just what you're looking for. And by TJ's Plumbing and Heating, any problem, anytime, anywhere. Memories are made on the road. The Jamestown Jets made plenty of those on their trip to Philadelphia in a weekend that was eventful to say the least. While junior hockey players swear by their love of the game's lifestyle, the realities provide a decent amount of inconvenient circumstances. After a full week of school and daily practices, I rode along on the Jamestown Jets weekend road trip to Philadelphia for a two-game swing with the Philadelphia Thunder. After unscheduled internal meetings, the club's departure was delayed until 1.30 in the morning when the all-night ride finally departed. After several discrepancies in the directions, the Jets finally arrived at the Days Inn just outside of Philly at 10 in the morning, less than four hours before game time. You got to make sacrifices when it comes to junior hockey and, you know, the traveling and whatnot. Uh, you know, if you have to leave at midnight, 2, 3 in the morning, uh, that's what you have to do to get ready for a game you do. What they had to do Saturday morning was check in, cram a power nap and a hot shower into about an hour in hotel rooms shared by four and five players. Then the Jets were back on the bus for the 20-minute trip to the venue nicknamed the Thunderdome. There they dealt with significantly inferior facilities as the club got ready for their pregame skate leading up to the 215 faceoff. The things that you like to have around everywhere, all the space you get normally in the, your home arena, you're bunched up tight here. You don't get you don't get to do the things you want to do. Saturday afternoon, the Jets adjusted well and outclassed the Thunder in every aspect of the game, even killing off 12 penalties, ultimately getting 39 saves from goaltender Lauren Shotwell, leading to a 4-0 Jamestown shutout. The perfect way to start the series. It just shows, you know, how much of a family we are because we all come together. We all got to work together away from our homes and uh, just get the job done. You always want to get the first win. It really kind of sets the tone for the weekend uh, uh, and, and, and helps you as you move into the second game because you're coming off the we can come out here and beat this hockey club uh, from the night before. But fatigue becomes the main factor. The Jets were back at the Thunderdome at 8 o'clock Sunday morning as they began preparations all over again for their 940 eye opener with the Thunder. To loosen up his tired and shorthanded squad, head coach Dennis Canfield pranked the team by calling in sick and appointing a certain local sportscaster to fill in as head coach. We're going to be sticking with our 2 1 2. All right? First man on the body, second guy in the puck. You guys know that. You executed it perfectly yesterday. But the joke ended and Canfield returned to the Spirited Club slightly before face-off to take his usual spot behind the bench. The early part of the series' second game could have been enough to make the coach sick for real, as a sloppy effort and several missed chances required a last-minute comeback, and the Jets were able to salvage an 8-8 tie in a bizarre and unorthodox finale to a two-game road trip in Philadelphia. We came down with a short bench. Um, stuck together. Uh, we didn't come out with four points, but we came out with three. But uh, I think this road trip has made us a tighter core group of guys, and uh, I think we're going to be only making better steps forward after this weekend. They will wrap up this two-game series tomorrow at 3 p.m. Well, it's All-Star Weekend for the UJHL. The Jamestown Jets taking on St. Lawrence in their second game of the day. They beat Finley earlier. First period, Jets are down two. Tyler Underhill to Justin Banasak, though, and the Jets are back on the board. St. Lawrence's high Kila high kills it. Look at that shot going top shelf to regain the two-goal lead and make it a 3-1 hockey game. Jets needed solid goaltending this one, and they got it from Lauren. Shot well, glove save there. But right now, this game's in the early stages of the third period. Jets are down 6-4. to four. They will play tomorrow at 11 a.m. against Worcester. All-Star Game festivities start tomorrow at 6 p.m. Let's do boys high school hoops. Maple Grove unbeaten in league play. The Jets are starting to pick up a little bit of steam around the Jamestown area, and that is in spite of some subpar weather as of late. Tonight, tonight they look to build on their home success as they host Finley. According to head coach Dennis Canfield, the team is averaging around 500 fans per game, and the team has treated them to a tune of 21-8-3 record, which currently leads the UJHL.
Well, I'll tell you what, it's, it's a good testament to the community. I mean, it's exciting. I mean, we had about uh, 450 fans here last week, and crowds are continuing to, to get better and shows that, that people are really looking for something to do this time of winter, and good team to come out and see. We're playing a team tonight uh, from Finley we haven't seen since October, so that's easy to get up for that. And, you know, the guys just want to be the best. The team's success hasn't gone without praise as eight members of the Jets squad were named to the UJHL All-Star team. And to the NHL, the Buffalo Sabres won 52-47. To the Frozen Pond, the Jets are the hottest team in the UJHL, compiling a 21-8-3 record heading in tonight's game with Finley, not to mention the fact that they lead the league in All-Stars with eight. We head over to the Jamestown Ice Arena. Good crowd on hand, about 500 people. They're playing the growl. First period, one nothing growl when Jets' Justin Banazak's going to light the lamp. He's from Lancaster, New York. That makes it a 1-1 one, one tie early in this one. We go to a little bit later in the action. The same kid from about the same spot. Nice assist by Tyler Underhill. He's out of Buffalo. It's an all-New York connection. Vanisak with his second on the night. Makes it 2-1 Jets there. Second period, Kevin Quinn gets jacked up by Tyler Underhill. Causes a little scrum. You don't mess with a man with a hair cut like that one. I'll tell you what, the fans were excited about it. The kids were excited. And as we went on in this game, we're actually still going on in this game with the Jets currently leading 6-5 late in the third. We head over to the NHL with a little bit of a grudge match. Chris Simply put, the Jamestown Jets are good, leading the UJ, UJHL with 43 points and a 28-3 overall record. Tonight, they welcome the Philly Thunder as they come into the Jamestown Ice Arena. Here we go. Little guy right there, you know, guess 6.1 goals a game isn't enough for that guy to keep him awake. one nothing Jets early. Pat Maloney to Justin Bezinick snipes it from the blue line, makes it 2 to nothing Jets early in this one. Mom, wake him up. Anything from the guy? Anything? Nope, just a little bit of droll. We go later in the first. Jets netminder Ryan Clark keeping the shutout, preserving the zero points on the board. Nice save. Later first, Thunder turn it over in the Jets zone. Tyler Underhill puts it on net. Sean Sievers with the beautiful rebound. Gorgeous goal makes it 3 0. And go back to the little man in the crowd. Anything? Horns are going off. You hear it in the background. We still get nothing from the little guys. 3 0 there. They go on to win this one easily. 6 2 0. And to college basketball, the 11th ranked Syracuse. Dropping on a playoff position. The Jamestown Jets, first place team in the UJHL Southern Division, taking on the Penn Enforcers. Jets on the power play, Dean Wolf to Maple Grove, Sean Service, a wide open net, and I'll score the power play goal. Jets win. The Jets and Enforcers will wrap off the series at a 7 30 faceoff on New Year's Eve, which is tomorrow. Well, it's the last chance for some of the area's high school basketball teams to pick up some hardware before heading into the new year.